Good morning, Beach Bums. Welcome back to the channel. We are still here in the Outer Banks and we are at the Avon Pier again. We started here this week and we didn't really have any success, but I saw but I'm here, but now we have Courtney, so. which is the ringer. We're going to make right. it happen. Well, wh what have you thought about the OBX so far? You like it? Yeah. I like it a lot. It's really cool. Yeah. What, yeah. like, are you digging the vibe? I mean, what, what, yeah, what's, what's your it's, feel? It's really quaint up here, which I really like. There's like no commercial stuff which is really cool. It's neat. It's just a totally different feel. Yeah. And I actually really like the beach up here. I know a lot of people said the beaches aren't quite as nice, but like I like They're the beautiful. beaches and it, I think they are pretty. As a side note on that, I'm going to say this. Okay, so I, I get comments all the time about how it would be impossible to fish with steelhead rods and they joke about our surf being calm all the time. <laughs> Dude, I've been here all week and it's been like flat. <laughs> all week like yeah. we could totally be fishing steelhead rods out here like i don't i don't get i get it i know that it gets rough out here i know that but you guys get calm surf like we do too come on now give me a break anyway we're gonna fish the pier we're going after a species that i've never caught before i mentioned it in an earlier video that i wanted to catch this species and i saw a couple people catch them the night we were out here so we're gonna see if we can scratch off a brand new species wish us luck yeah thank you sir Man, it is gorgeous out here today. Okay, so we're gonna try a couple of different things. I think I'm gonna put the cut bait on our bottom drop. And then we've got a piece of sand flea fish bites and we're gonna put it up top. We've got a, we're running a couple of rods, so I may put one, I may drop yours just right here underneath the pier, Courtney. What do you think about that? Sure. That's a good idea. It is pink. We've got the lady dagger. That's upside down for you guys, but. <laughs> The lady dagger. I'm a ladies man. <laughs> oh, it's not very deep here at all. All right. Okay. See how I got it? I mean, you know, and just reel down. Okay. So you can feel feel what you're doing. Oh. Put, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does look like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Looks like a bite. Hey, first fish of the day here. I'll take it. A little sheepy. What are the regulations? Play with my drag for me. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> what are the regulations on sheep's head here? I don't even know. Uh, we're gonna have to find out real quick. Are, are you you want to keep them if it's legal? Absolutely. Little fella, y'all might can keep them. I don't know what your regulations are on sheepies. Ten inches up to thirteen a day. Ten inches total length or to the fork? Ten inches. That, that, you can keep some little sheep little sheepies here. So they call it a sheep's head, and regulations here they're ten inches to the fork. Hold it as close to that piling as you can. Pull it down like that? Uh, it helps to point the rod at the piling. Finally got a fish. This might be what we're at. Oh my gosh. This might be what we're after. This might be what we're after. Stay on. Nope, that's a croaker. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna use them for bait though. Okay, uh, that's my first fish on the pier called a croaker. Um, not our target species. All right, we're gonna use this guy for bait. Real quick, I hope you're enjoying the OBX series. I've got a couple more videos after this one. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you're thinking of it so far. Had a lot of fun on this trip. Got to meet a lot of cool people, catch a lot of cool fish. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We are so dadgum close to 100,000 subscribers. If you look and you enjoy the content, you've noticed you have not hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and do that now. It would really help me out. Want to take just a brief moment and thank our sponsor, Waterland Sunglasses. They are a huge supporter of the channel. If it weren't for them, wouldn't be able to make trips and content like this. So if you haven't already picked up a pair of Waterland Sunglasses, check out the link in the description below. That's what I wear in every video. That's what I'm wearing today on the pier. Incredible pair of polarized lenses. I've done so much more sight fishing this year and my Waterland sunglasses have performed incredibly. You've got to have them when you're out there on the water, especially when you're pier fishing, beach fishing. You've got to be able to see these schools. you got to be able to see these individual fish. I'm about to be heading to South Florida, doing a lot of sight fishing for snook. Gonna be taking those Waterland sunglasses. If you use promo code BEACHBUM at checkout, that's gonna get you 15% off anything that you place your order on the website. So make sure you utilize that. Got a link in the description below, but let's get back to fishing. Oh, no, you hooked up, up, oh, real, real, real. Oh, you got, you got John drill. He, what are you, oh, you got the, you got the piling. You, you, oh no, where do I go? Oh, oh, he's still on. There you go, all right, there you go. Reel him up, reel him up. It feels so hard. He's coming up. 
like pull up and then reel pull up reel all right now flip them over watch it watch out hey you got a sheepy nice is that your first sheep said did we not catch any that day on the under the we oh. went under the bridge i don't think we, i don't think we actually caught any yeah i guess so first sheepy yeah. nice on the pier way to go yeah thanks on john's uh catawampus reel there Thanks, thanks, John. <laughs> yeah. I, I won't make you hold it because okay, uh, they're yeah, pretty, are... they're pretty pokey. But yeah. we'll get it back. I don't think this guy. He might be legal. There, they got to be ten, ten inches to the fork. He's definitely, oh, he's, he's definitely close. legal. I would think. Yeah, he probably would be. They, they can keep them small. Did, did, are y'all keep, y'all keep a fish? Yeah. You want it, Matt? Ten, ten to the fork. Uh, yeah, he's legal. Now, you mind? Yeah, go ahead. Thanks, sir. Heck yeah, legal fish, Courtney. Way to go. All right, I got some cut croaker out here. I feel pretty good about this for bait. Got him. I think we got him. Got a heavy lead here. But I think we got a fish. He's swimming, okay. What do we got? This is what's been messing with me. What do we got? Dang it. <laughs> yeah. More bait. Not more bait. There we go. There we go. There's a better fish. That's a better fish. He picked it up and swam towards me. Come on. Be the one. What are you? Another mullet. That must be just all that's out there right now. You want this one? Is it too small for you? Yeah, I don't think. You got all right, it's a bad I have to grab something to go. To. I gotcha. I understand. Thank you. Yes, sir. You got him, got him. I'm coming. Courtney's hooked up. By the way, whoa, look at there. You got another sheep. I mean, he's a baby. Nice. But I put it in there by myself, and I caught it by myself. All by yourself. <laughs> he, John baited it for me. Uh, that's okay. You can still claim credit. <laughs> it's all right. Let's see your fish. Heck yeah. Look at that little guy. You want a picture? Here, just hold the line there. Okay. Beautiful work, Courtney. Thanks. All right, little buddy. Thanks for biting my wife's hook. See ya. <laughs> nice work. Well There's a fish. There's a fish. Feels good. Okay. Come on. Be what I'm looking for. Be the target. You want me to scoot this one over for you? Uh, oh, you're good. You sure? It's good. Thank you. Okay. What do we got on? We got some head shakes. Oh, no. Oh, no. This might be it. This might be it. Finally. <laughs> Finally! I've worked so hard. New species. Off the list. And uh, he's bleeding. Okay, this has been my target species all morning. He's bleeding pretty good. Let's measure him real quick. If he's legal, we'll hang on to him. They gotta be 12 inches. I don't know if he'll make it, but he's, he's bleeding a good bit. I'm gonna borrow your stick here real quick. Okay, he is not legal. We're gonna get him back. We'll see if we can catch another one. This is a weak fish. They call them gray trout. They look very similar to speckled trout, but you can tell their spots are a little different. Really freaking cool fish. We're gonna get him back. See you, buddy. Give me some. Come on, man. I worked so freaking hard for that fish. Dang it. That was, that was some work. That was a goal. God. All right, we've got cut whiting on here. I cut up a couple of those whiting that I caught. They call them mullet around here, ground mullet. I, I believe they are the southern kingfish. But that's what got our target, the weak fish on the cut bait. Very similar habits, it seems like, to the white trout that we have back home in that, you know, they kind of like the cut bait, feeding on the bottom like that. There we go. Hooked up. He picked up the cut bait. This was, uh, I'm still using cut whiting. Oh. I, I, I'm, I'm hooked up too, sorry. <laughs> I just I, I just called something. Something small. 
Oh, he's little. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> there you go. We hooked up at the same time. I caught a little tiny fish there. Yours is way cooler than mine. <laughs> I mean, yours is small, but uh, much better job. Did you feel the bite on that one? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, something tried to eat him. Look at that poor little guy. Oh, yeah. He's got That's a sad. big old like, gash. He looks recent. Yeah, big gash in him. Yeah. Little guy, you want to kiss him? No, I didn't no? think he Aren't they cool fish, though? Thumbs up. It's such a... eat my fingers. <laughs> Just kidding. You having fun? Yeah. You look... Teeth are cool. You look like you know what you're doing over here. Yeah, well, I don't. I'm just pretending. <laughs> Beautiful. Great job. You, you've, uh, these, these were your first OBX fish? Yeah. Sheep's head. Beautiful. See ya. Well, I had a great time. Yeah, Did thank you. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. You caught some sheep's head, but you've never even caught sheep's head before. Do you yeah. you, we come all the way to OBX <laughs> so you can catch your first sheep's head. That yeah. was, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Come check out Avon Pier anytime. Uh, there's... <laughs> Hey, hey mom, <laughs> come check out Avon Pier if you're ever in the Outer Banks. This is Keith, Pier Manager. He's a nice dude, he'll hook you up, he'll get you out here. But uh, a lot of opportunities out here. They were catching bluefish, Spanish, all kinds of stuff. I was dead set on getting that weak fish, which I did. Uh, it wasn't big, it was 11 inches. I don't care, new species <laughs> off the list. Uh, I don't really even know of many other species up here that I can't catch at home. That's one of the few, I think. So. I was pretty stoked about that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you stay bummy.